All right, here's a newbie trick. Uh, this is the first time I've replaced the pickup coil in my uh, in in any HEI distributor. Happens to be from my uh, old '85 Mini Winnie with a 350 engine. So one of the things I read about was that aligning the points of the magnet with the points on the rotor was sometimes tricky because when you buy your replacement pickup and coil, uh, the alignment is, is tight tolerances on those points and it's not always perfect. So when I first tried this and put the, the uh, rotor back in, it would, uh, it would hit the tips of the magnet, you know, click, 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 click as you spun it around. And the trick is to move the magnet back and forth before, as you tighten it so that it doesn't click at all once you have it as tight as you need it to be. Uh, and that works, except I decided to do a little bit easier way uh, to make it faster. So what I did is I took a black marker and I simply put a stripe of black paint or a black marker on each tip of the magnet like this. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to go all the way around, but you get the idea. And then when you put the rotor back in the distributor and spin it, if it is interfering with the, 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 the uh, you know, the, the, the magnet and the points, uh, you'll hear it clicking. Uh, it's, it's good now, so you don't hear it. But when it clicks, it's rubbing, and that means that the points on the shaft are going to be rubbing off the marker that you put on the magnet. Or if your shaft is kind of a little bit rusty like this one is, it'll leave rust deposits on the tips of those, um, of those magnets. And that tells you the direction that you need to move the magnet in order to get to clearance. And that's worked really well. So just thought I'd pass that along. Ciao.